And at least 46 Democrats now have said that they will boycott the inaugural address uh, of uh, Donald Trump, the swearing in of Donald Trump on Friday in Washington. And uh, that number could grow, could change, actually could go down to between now and then. We don't know at this point, but uh, that's the uh, the number that we're getting. Um, so we've invited uh, Kerry Rodriguez, my old pal and Democrat State uh, Committee woman, uh, to come on the program today, talk a little bit about this and uh, a couple of other issues as well. Kerry, appreciate your time as always. Thank you very much. Hey, Barry. Great to be with you. Glad to have you. Um, so uh, this thing's unfolding for Friday. Uh, what do you think? Do you support this uh, this boycott, or do you think maybe people ought to put their toys aside and uh, their problems aside and uh, everybody stand together to mark the transition to power? No, I think about what we teach our children, which is, uh, you know, you got to stand up to a bully and stand up for what's right. I appreciate the fact that Catherine Clark is doing that for us by having a line in the stand, in the stand rather, and saying, listen, we're going to stand up to bigotry and misogyny and racism, and this is not okay with us. And we're going to set an example for our children that when a bully tries to force you to uh, get in line behind him, uh, you don't always have to do it. Donald Trump is actually at 40 percent. He has a 40 percent approval rating. This is the lowest approval rating we've seen for an incoming president in general. So that disqualifies him? He won the election. 65 him, million saying, people voted for him. You know, don't, let's, let's not anoint this man and put the crown on him and, and have him seated. Up Nobody's putting right a crown on anybody. He won the election fairly well, and squarely. Not, 65 yeah, million yeah, people, including the myself, voted for him. Store for us because uh, apparently... Uh, Dictator Putin has a lot of plans for the United States over the next four years. Right. Do you, do you honestly think that, that uh, Putin would rather deal with Trump than Hillary? Hillary Absolutely. was a pushover. Absolutely. Doesn't he say as much? Hillary was a pushover. What, you now you believe now you believe Putin? Listen, He's I, believable? I would be surprised if we see, you know, a, a grand parade happening on January 20th and, and <laughs> through the downtown streets of <laughs> Moscow. With a, a wonderful <laughs> celebration for okay, our good friend Donald Trump, he's spearheaded by the one and only Vladimir Putin. I mean, right, these right. guys are BFFs. <laughs> it's, un it's unbelievable. Just, I mean, don't take my word for it. Go to the president-elect. Twitter feed. He'll tell you himself. Well, Donald Trump certainly makes a very good point that we'd, we'd, we'd do better if we have good relations with the Russians than if we had bad relations with the Russians. And, you know, I certainly would hope that we don't have to send a generation of kids off to go and fight the Russians. So.